Hi, I'm Travel Grandma. Sorry it's a little bit windy today. This may not work, but I'm going to attempt to show you how I figured out an, yet another way to do my screens. This is my third screen video, <laughs> and they're all different. The reason that I wanted to change it is, I'm gonna to try to show you by holding up this paper. I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, it's very windy. See right there? There's a hole. So obviously the mesh screening that I was using does get holes in it and this is like the second time that I've changed out this particular window um, so I needed something stronger so I thought okay putting this spline like I did before I showed you that in my last uh, screen video works great I mean they stay on the windows that's not the problem the problem is the material just tears too easily so I thought all right I'm gonna try one more time I'm going to get maybe thinner spline and regular screening still didn't work I thought how the heck can I attach this regular screening because I know that that's gonna last I'm not gonna get holes in that to the windows so then I got to thinking what if I used binder clips those like work for everything surely I can find a place on my window to be able to put the clips because there is a rubber gasket all around I think I can do that so what I did was I got teeny tiny binder clips let me show you they're really, really tiny. <laughs> and they have these on Amazon, which I'll leave a link below, but you can also get these at Walmart. They are just, let me see if they says the size. I think they just say mini. So you need one pack for each side. I guess, depending on how many you put. I already did the other side to test it out. And today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demo how to take this screen off and change this one out to be the regular screen. And they're staying on really good. So this should work out well. Let me show you the other screen first, the finished product first, in case the wind kicks up too much and I can't finish this video. So there's what it looks like from the outside. But this is what you really wanna pay attention to is the inside. So see my clips right here? They are attached right in here. I basically pulled back with a credit card actually. Pulled this back and I stuck the binder clips in there. Here's one here. That's it all the way around. So let me show you. But first, I'm gonna to have to move my bike out of the way. Doesn't it fit so nicely in there? I just love it. So let me get set up and then I'll be right back. All right, so I got my bike hanging out down there out of the way. And I'm gonna actually sit on my stool here. Literally. <laughs> the first thing I need to do is get this screen off. So, if you remember correctly, in my other video, I had put spline all the way around this window and tucked it in really well. So, I'm going to attempt to get it out with the scissor. If I don't get it out, it's not a big deal. I wasn't able to get it all out on the other side, and I just left it in. I don't care. I have one of those tools that have like a little pick on the end. That works really well. I don't have that with me this time. So, I'm going to... Do the best that I can. Yay! You can see 
I got the spline out with the window. So that's great. I don't know if I can get the top. I think I'm not even going to worry about it. Okay, got it out. Now the materials that you need for this are, you need a scissor, you need the clips, I'll put a link in the description below, and you need regular screening. Now regular screening usually comes in a roll, and just regular screen door size is fine. And you can use it for two, two windows. Okay. So, oh, look at there. Some of the spleen came out. That's great. Yeah, if you can get the spleen out, that's good. Spline. I think it's spline. Oh, spleen, spline, whatever. So, what I'm going to do is just do a rough estimate on the size for the window. So, I'm going to put these magnets that I have all around so I can cut this. So I think that's about the best angle I can give you for a close-up view. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take a credit card, pull this away, like so have your clip ready and they just open like this you squeeze them like this put your screening up there tuck it under Put your clip, and then what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze these clips and take them off. See that? And then push it down. Do that all the way around your window. Maybe, I don't know. Three or four on the top, a couple on the side. I'll put a couple more on and show you. Okay, so I've got a couple more on. So it's best if you leave these end pieces on until you have the screen all the way on. There's a couple more there. Because you may have to do some adjusting to even out the screen, and it'll be too difficult if you've already taken the end pieces off okay so now I have a little too much on the side so I'm gonna I'm gonna trim this a little bit more you only need you know a little bit just to tuck it in because it stays very well and then I'll cut that and I'll put those pieces on same way and then I'll come and I'll show you how I did the bottom so now on this end here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this screening here and I'm just going to tuck it in the back here. That should stay really well. That's what I did on the other side. And what I also did when I used the mesh, just tucking it in. like that. Now on the bottom here, I'm also going to tuck this in, but it's way too long. So let me cut that. Where's my big scissors? I was losing things.
I'll go this way. <laughs> in the way. Okay, now you're going to tuck it in here and you're going to shove it all the way down into your door. shoving it in and that's also tightening it so then I'm just going to go all the way around then once I get it got it really nice and taut as best as you can then you can go ahead and start taking these clips off. See how nice that's just all tucked in there? And then you're just gonna take your clips off like this. Push it in, secure it in. I love this idea. And there it is, all done. You know what, and it doesn't have to be perfect. You're not gonna get this end down here perfectly perfect. You know, there's some sticking out. And that's okay, it's the end. Don't worry about it. It works. And with summertime coming out, this is the perfect project for you to be doing. Okay, next up, let's talk about privacy shades. So I absolutely love those wired shades. I have three of them. But I cut one of them in half and I, I took the wires out and I took the wires out of another one and I'll show you what I decided to do. And also how these clips for these screens come in very, very handy. So here's one of the shades that I took the wire out of. And what I'm going to do is I got these great magnets. And I'll leave a link. They're really small, but they're mighty. And I just clipped my shade on just like this. Isn't that great? It blocks everything out. And then down here, it's another one here. Now there's also a little bit of metal on the side. You could use that as well. If you want to, that works too. So normally I do not put that many clips. I'll put usually three on the top and then one on the bottom. And I do that for both of these side windows. And I do that for the back. Because I don't have a screen on that window where I can put the magnets, <laughs> I glued washers, metal washers, that these magnets stick to. And I, I glued them on my window. Here, I'll show you now. They, these here are larger clips and 
You can get these, that's fine. You don't need them. The smaller ones work fine and you can get smaller washers as well. This is just what I happened to get at the time. So you can get, there's a smaller one and it works fine and you can get smaller washers and glue a few around. But here, let me just show you a little bit. See, and you would do this from the inside, obviously, but yeah, they just stick on really well. So that's a real good solution for your back window. Okay, these are the privacy shades that I like the best. They fold up really small like this, and they have wire in them. They just fold out. So they're silver on one side to reflect the sun away during the day and black on the other for privacy at night and then you just fold them back up that's it I use these across the front and back of my seats I use a large clip so I st usually stick them in here and they stay really well. Like that. Or, uh, because I have this strap across my front here, I can also clip it on here. Sorry about the wind today. I'll see you on the road. Thanks for watching. If you got value from this video, please consider liking it, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button. Here's videos that you might like to watch next.